if your product already exists in the amazon catalog you don't have to add item you can just add your offer to the listing already exists so for example taking this melissa and dog rainbow stacker if we take the a i sign for this product go to the amazon we go to and go into inventory we put out the product if we search for this asin we can sell this product against that listing and it will ask us to add our stock number for the product our price the quantity the condition we are selling in and then also the fulfillment method if we click on the advanced view you can add other important aspects like the merchant shipping group product test code and the sale price we should be going into these option in more detail later and if you are matching more uh, then a few product it is a good idea to do this via the and upload template which is much much quicker so you could inventory and then add the product via the upload you have the option to download your inventory file no as we are only matching product we need to download the inventory file down here which is when we are product matching only so we need the inventory load of file here is an inventory load a file that i prepared earlier that under the data definition that tell you the requirement for each field required field l sku has in the stock number and also the fulfillment center id which is required if you want to create the fba products and there are the number of also the desired field which really need to be the filled in so here we will just go through these field product id could be either a barcode or and the ayrson and which it is the product id type in defined in the column c and then you can see here it is a number so one for nest and four for an area for example the price that will be in the local currency of the site also there is a minimum maximum value this is very useful if you are doing dynamic prices so the price doesn't go too low or too high and this ionic condition 11 stand for the brand new but there are some other option here for example you have got to use like new would be one etc etc quantity to be sold whether this is a product which is being added or deleted you can also delete by using this template column j is whether this product can be shipped internationally with the number of the option which are shown on the data definition sheet expedited shipping is whether next day delivery is available on this product the merchant shipping group which we will be discussing later is determined where the product can be shipped and the pricing test code is the vat code or the value added test code or the sale test code which is applicable to this product and this is the particularly useful for the business seller finally the handling time if you have the product which can be shipped immediately this is where the handling time is entered to a number of the other field which are specified to the fba product which we will also discuss later once the product the file have been completed it need to be uploaded to the amazon for this we need to save the relevant sheets as a tab limited test file if we click on the template sheet and then we do move our copy and then we select the template sheet that will create and cheat as a new workbook and if you then do file save as a choose as a folder and save as a tab delimited test file then this will save the file in the right format and then we will want to upload that file and we go back to our upload and you can upload your file select invigilator file choose the file type and the upload and then click update the status of upload will be shown under monitor upload status and you can download a processing report to see any error once the product has been successfully uploaded you will appear in manage inventory using the details that have been created or if they are missing some data they will appear in complete your draft here we are able to see the data which is missing and which needs to be added for the product to go live 